So this morning I get a text saying your shipment has been delivered, which those words in itself, super exciting. Come out into the garage. We got a whole pallet full of goodies and look who it's from. So as you guys just saw, we have a ton of products here. And first and foremost, massive thank you to Liquid Molly, sending out all these awesome products. We actually have products here to cover all of the cars. That's Miley, the Savoy, the Pink Floyd, the Mark IV, and the Mark II. So again, massive thank you, Liquid Molly. If you're not already following them, check them out. But look at this stack right here. So the bottom three, three different types of oil. And on top we have MOS2 anti-friction. We have motor oil saver here, Proline engine flush, and the Saratech. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the top boxes here, I have no idea how to use, but we're gonna learn. And I'm just super excited to have all this great products for this car, for that car, the other three Mark III's. All of them will be getting taken care of very nicely. If we look closely here, we actually have three different types of oil. I actually sent a list of all of my cars with their engines to Liquid Molly. They went through and picked out the exact oil and all the additives and stuff that I'm using for each car. I actually have a list on my email that shows all the stuff for each car, which is crazy. But these are the three they picked out for me, which is really cool, I think, to have that level of detail for your oil for each car. The first one here is the MOS2. I want to say it's anti-friction motor oil. This is a 10W40. The next one, I'm going to butcher that. The Lechloft, Lechloft? Uh, high tech 5w40 that's number two and the last one here is the molly new gen 540 so again i sent them a list of all of my cars with each car's engine and they went through and picked out by engine exactly what i should be using for each car check some of this stuff out this is our first one I'm curious to see i am oh yeah so it is the mos2 anti-friction 1040 right there the next box name that I butchered but there is that the 540 high tech and last but not least we have this one fancy green bottle the Molly new gen 540 so look at the lineup we got here this stuff is so cool small box is next I'm curious to see what all this stuff is I've seen the oil before but all this stuff is all very new to me Let's see the goodies in here number one this is our MOS2 anti-friction additive engine treatment. So that's the first one right there. This case is the motor oil saver. Fancy. These two. Beer can engine flush treatment. And last but not least, we've got a little box here. Oh, this is a Caratech or the Saratech. I'm not sure what this does. I said, I'm going to go through and this stuff I've never used before. So I can reach out to them. They can give me details on how to actually use stuff properly and then go through and take care of uh, all of our cars very nicely. But again, massive thank you, Liquid Molly, taking care of literally all of the cars. Miley, the Pink Floor, the Savoy, the Mark IV, and the Mark II, all the cars will be getting the Liquid Molly treatment, all of the engine flushes, the additives. They're gonna be uh, very well taken care of. All right, so I think it's been about two days since the last part of this video. I took some time to read through all the product that was sent out to me. I'm watching videos on each one, and honestly, some really cool stuff uh, they sent out. I've always changed the oil in my car at the proper times and that kind of stuff, but I've never really taken the extra step to really make sure the engine is fully lubricated properly, do engine flushes and that kind of stuff. So I'm actually really excited to use all these products. My original plan was just to go through an oil change the car right away, but I'm at about 2,200 miles or so on the current oil change. And after reading through all the products, what I actually want to do first is use this, which is the motor oil saver. What's cool about this, you can add this to your oil at any point and what it does is after about four to six hundred miles it goes through rejuvenates all your rubber and plastic seals thankfully when i pulled the engine out of this car did it remain sealed the car's not leaking at all and i have no blue smoke out of the exhaust but it's never too early to start preventative maintenance because at some point the valve seals in the engine will get bad you'll have some smoke out of the exhaust but with this stuff it's supposed to go through the engine rejuvenate all your rubber and plastic seals and keep them in good shape for as long as possible so we're gonna go ahead and add this to the car and then by the time we are due for an oil change this will have done all it's gonna do 
then we can flush everything out and use all the rest of our cool products. And there's all our fancy motor oil saver that hopefully is gonna make sure my valve seals and other such things in here stay nice and lubricated and uh, don't give me issues. So hopefully I can just one handed and not make a giant mess in here. Very nice. So we'll dump this in. We'll run it for the next about 800 miles until my oil change is uh, due. Check back in. I said, thankfully right now, I don't have any leaks at all in this car, which is very, very good. No remain seal leak that's brand new. No smoke out the exhaust. So hopefully this stuff keeps us in good shape for a long time. And toss this back on. There she is. So that was the first step in getting the wagon fully taken care of. Like I said, in about 800 miles, when the oil changes do, we'll do the engine flush, get everything out of the engine, fill it up with brand new oil from Local Molly, and then we'll use the MOS2 treatment as well. And this thing should be running perfectly not saying the car runs poorly now but if i can do my part to make sure it's very very taken care of lubricate it properly and just last as long as possible i'm all about that So very exciting stuff today. The Zender front bumper is heading to the paint shop because this does need some body work, some spots here. These pieces down here are kind of rough. And then over in this corner, there's a little bit of a, a gouge right there. But this is heading to the body shop today and getting prepped. And then next week, the rest of the pieces, the side skirt, uh, the rear lip, my Euro hatch is all gonna go to paint as well. And then very soon, we're gonna have all the pieces on the wagon again not that i don't love how the factory front end looks is like the car looks good this factory front end like super super nice but i love my zender stuff and i'm really excited to see all this stuff actually painted and on the car i still need to go through and order the actual mesh for back here i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna talk about on the patreon i think we're gonna do this honeycomb style mesh i found which looks very very good that'll go back in here and then i think we decided that it's a polo or Lupo Volkswagen emblem that actually fits this one. I do have some spare Mark III ones I haven't tried yet, but I think it's Polo or Lupo 6N maybe that we went through and measured and that's the size that's for this. So need to get one of those, need to get the mesh stuff for back here and then down here and probably in the front as well. Or maybe just this one and this one we'll have to see. But either way, today the bumper goes to the paint shop. Wagon life is the best life, and no one will ever tell me otherwise. Just, it's just the best life, you know? I will never get tired of that sound, ever. Never, ever. Once you get into YouTube, you learn there's this thing called YouTube magic. And basically, I leave my camera there as I drive off and the camera knows what I'm doing and then the camera just magically appears in the car. So I don't have to stop. I don't gotta turn around, go back and get it. It just it just works. So if you get into YouTube, there's a little thing called YouTube magic and uh, you, you just learn it as you go. Approximately eight minutes later, we have made it to Jack's shop, which is so convenient that his shop is so close to my house. I could walk here, be about that eh, 30 minute walk, but I could walk here. That's how close the shop is, which is 
so nice. Tureg, Mark II, and Mark III. What a lineup. The Tureg has a 3.2 in it, the GTI has a 1.8 T-swap in it, and the Jet has 1.9 TDI. Such a cool lineup. It's just thick. <laughs> yeah, the paint's super thick. <laughs> I mean, it's so thick it's cracking. That's the paint cracking. Yeah. Like that right there, that's just paint cracking from being thick. And you can see in some spots back here where it was blue. Well, you can see right there. Bunch of layers. There's one spot where you can see the blue pretty good. There's a the blue, and now it's kind of like silver, but it's, yeah, it's, it's thick. So it's a, it's a beefy bumper. Yep. And the fact that it's still alive and in one piece is a miracle. It's got some, uh, some dings here and there, but it survived. It's a survivor. It's been a lot of places. It's been UK, it's been all over the world. And it's, yeah, it's still one piece, thankfully. I'm actually really excited to see it painted though. It's gonna look good. Yeah, yeah. Like actually see it in one color, not all the primer yeah. and fixed up marks. Yeah. So this is Jack's car he's been working on. This will be a Euro Tripper, getting everything all freshly painted. These are actually my spare Euro fenders I sold to him. So very cool to see them live on. And of course, the R6. Which actually, I'm not sure if I can show the color just yet. So this might not be in black or white, but either way, this fender and that fender and a few other parts were, uh, were from my stash of everything possible. So it's cool to see it all live on. Also up here, look at this. This is a Blue Lagoon Mark IV Jetta driver side fender. Notice no rust anywhere. So this one along with the hatch, the side skirts, the rest of the pieces will get painted in black to go on my wagon because Mine's rusting out pretty bad. Uh, it hasn't flaked it, which is good, but this whole section's bubbling really bad, and right here as well. But this one, perfectly clean. It's already been rolled in mint condition. No dents, no uh, nothing. The fender is perfect and good to go. So we'll have a brand new fender for the wagon, which I am so excited about because the whole rustiness just looks bad and I don't like it at all. So super stoked that he had this. All right, so big thank you to Jack, hooking it up with the paint. Uh, like I said, the bumper went there first because he needs some body work and the fender he had, so it's already there. But by either next week or the following week, all the body work on the bumper should be done. Then I can bring him the hatch, the hatch spoiler, the rear lip and the side skirts, and that'll be everything. And then maybe a week after that, it'll all be painted and we can put it on the car. And I cannot wait to see this car completely zener kitted out with the Porsche wheels. It's not good. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget, be thankful for our school day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.